What's up, everybody? It's The Biz. I'm back again with another update. Today, I want to give you the update on my 180 gallon reef. Now, if you are not a subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And thank you for checking out the channel. Now with the 180 gallon reef, I wanna pick up exactly where I left off with the last update. Now I did have a lot of coral loss. It's looking better, but I'm not 100% satisfied. I'm still battling a little bit of cyano. It's not as bad as it was before, but it's not completely cleaned out. Now I don't wanna use ChemiClean. I'm trying to do this the natural way. Let's talk a little bit about water changes. I've been doing a lot of water changes in the last, say, month or so. In fact, probably more water changes than I've ever done before. I've probably changed about 200 gallons or so, so I've been doing a lot of large water changes. Now, once again, we're on the topic of water changes, and the common knowledge is because of your water changes, you want to use a salt that's pretty close to what your parameters are. Now my parameters are about 8.5 for alkalinity, but forever and ever and ever, I've been using either reef crystals or instant ocean for salt. And because I've always done smaller water changes, it never has really mattered a lot what kind of salt I used. I was trying to be cheap once again, so I would pick up either instant ocean or reef crystals and I'd change small amounts of water with that. But now since I'm doing these larger water changes, you have to really think about the salt that you're using. You have to match that salt with the alkalinity in your tank. And I say this all the time, I tell people all the time, use a salt that is closest to what your parameters are. There is no best salt, it's what you do in your tank. But I didn't listen to this when it came to it. And what did I do? I was doing large water changes with a salt that um, reef crystals is about 13 dkh instant ocean is at 11 and once again my tank is at 8.5 so what happened alkalinity swings and of course when you have alkalinity swings in a sps dominant mixed reef what happens you start losing corals from rtn and that's exactly what happened now once again it wasn't that big i kind of caught this mistake early on and what did i do I switched to a new salt. I'm now using Fritz because Fritz mixes up about anywhere between eight and nine DKH, which is a lot closer to what I run my reef at. So, you know, I tell people that all the time, use a salt that best matches you. And it looks like this is one time where I didn't take my own advice. It is what it is. I can only be mad at myself because of the elk swing. So. Sometimes even us older heads need to kind of pay attention and, and don't make stupid mistakes. This definitely was a stupid mistake that could have been avoided, but hey, it is what it is. I've switched salts and Fritz has been doing pretty good. Um, like I said, I lost a couple of corals in the RTN event, but I think I caught it quick enough to go ahead and reverse the damage. So, well, that's it for this month of reef tank updates for the 180 like comment subscribe let me know if you guys ever made any mistakes like that um you know you knew what you were doing but somehow it just kind of slipped by you like always youtube happy reefing take care